All right, we have a new little case today, a little guy that Danielle found, our receptionist on her way to work. This is him. He looks sort of youngish, but something's going on with his head and his ears. So we're gonna get him out, do an exam, and just kind of get a better idea of what's going on in his overall health. So let's get started. Look at this. He had a little collar. Did, did he have a collar on when she brought him in? No. Oh, buddy. Oh. But look at this, please. Uh -uh. So you are infested. And then this weather, I cannot even imagine. April says his ears are bad. Oh, ew. Look at that. Look. There is like pus in there. Oh, buddy. And he's got one testicle down. Loyal shoe. Loyal shoe, bud. Your breeding days are over with me, friend. He's happy Your about that. Your breeding days are over. He's one up under to me. Yes, he is. Okay, well, can we just pass his ears? I'm so sorry. Don't turn into an angry chair. Oh my gosh, his ears smell oh. like angel sex. He's going to get you. I know. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. His ears. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need someone to hold him. Word. Because it's sorry, so weird that his, that his ears smell like angel sex. That is just too weird. He's going to get you. Oh, <laughs> wow. Tell them. They're making you mad. That was the worst. Uh, oh, God. He's done. He doesn't like you anymore. Stop. You're good. I'm so sorry. Oh, he won't even look at me now. No. His teeth aren't that terrible. I was gonna say, I don't think he's that old. Mm -hmm. I think he's just. Just had a hard road. brains are coming out. That's what it is. <laughs> Diagnosed. Okay, so we got our new pup here, and for lack of better term, there is pus coming out of that ear. We took a sample of it. We're going to evaluate it. We may or may not um, send it off for a culture and sensitivity, but at least we have the sample before we apply antibiotics. So all is well, and this pup may be a long road to recovery, but we're going to get there. Yeah, so we got this little guy here, and it looks like there's some masses in the ear, but we're going to address the infection and see what happens to those. But that certainly may be a cause or a predetermining, predisposing factor that's making these ears so nasty. But at least we got them clean. It smells a lot better. And uh, we'll just apply our meds and reevaluate in a week. We're gonna get him out tomorrow and look at his ears, but he's gonna need a muzzle because he's so sweet, but he just gets sick of us. He's so dramatic. Oh, tell everybody you need a home. Gomez, the perfectest name for you. Gomez. Oh, I saw him about the other day. show you he's gonna be upset with me oh i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna touch inside they do ah. oh, look a lot
lot better. So he's going to be due for another dose of medication on Friday for his ears, which will be fun. And then we're waiting for his culture still. Let's see. His blood work actually looks great. And then he is negative for heartworms, which is awesome. We may recheck a thyroid in 30 days, but other than that, looks pretty good. Gomez has light sedation because he's so painful on his ears. Way better. Less inflammation. Y'all do a good job. That's not good enough? You don't want to be in there? Oh, we want you. You're our new break room doggy. Yeah? We love you. that have been undiagnosed and been so severe they cause all of this stricturing and all these like hyperplastic tissue that's really warty looking and then also this cute little head tilt he's trying to do it with you but we know it's like how are you not picking up what i'm putting down woman let go of me <laughs> day for our little head tilt Gomez but they were telling me how cute Gomez and Beasley are just a couple couple old folks Gomez, Gomez and Beasley come on come on he's like she said I'm getting neutered today nope nope no 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 I'm getting neutered today <laughs> oh Beasley Sorry. We're gonna have to adopt these two old fogies together. Oh, I says I just I'm gonna apologize first that I'm gonna be a little bit hateful today. That's okay. That, but you know that, and you That's know I'm okay. really sweet in my heart. That's sweet. When you do stuff to me, I get hate in my heart. We forgive you, bubs. Gomez Cryptorchid. Here we go. So here's Gomez's penis. And I believe that extra testicle is right about here inside the abdomen. So we're gonna go through there. Check that out. I like to do a skin incision and then bluntly dissect from there. Since this is off midline. Now we can see his abdominal wall there. Tint that up. Gonna break through that. Usually these testicles, we can feel or see them at this point, but I'm 
just going to feel first before I have to go visually. Ha ha! Felt this dramatic chord there. So since I felt that chord, I retracted it up. Now I'm going to trace it. Bam! That's a testicle, my friends. That is a retained testicle that was found. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Clapping all around. And we'll compare it to his one, his testicle that is not retained. But this one undoubtedly is a lot smaller. But what we're gonna do is, I always like to remove these first. So we're gonna, we just need to ligate this guy. Sometimes these testicles are really, really hard to find. But since we could not feel it in the inguinal canal, just with experience, because I've done so many of these, I just knew that's about where it would live. So what we do is we go in there and just dissect it out just like we did. So this is a classic, simple, abdominal cryptorchid procedure. So now we have our whole testicle there. I'm going to go ahead and clamp that and ligate that as well. All of that looks good. Tuck everything back in. He does have a lot of abdominal fat there. But the key moving forward from here is to close his abdominal wall. And these incisions are often much different than our spay because we dissect it out. So what I like to do is get a good grab, tuck everything in, and you may not be able to appreciate getting both sides of that abdominal wall there. What we don't want to do is do a bad job here and this poor dude end up having an abdominal hernia. Tucking that abdominal fat back in, making sure I'm going to get in, getting a good healthy grab of his abdominal wall. <laughs> is the cryptorchid part. Now we're going to move on to his normal neuter, but we're going to give it a quick scrub. Okay, here we go for his regular testicle, which we know is there. So we're just going to take care of that real quick. Just a lettuce. There we go. Bam! Testicle number two, extracted. So here is our normal testicle that was there and our retained testicle that was about here. And as you can see, these retained testicles, it looks normal, but it's definitely not as enlarged or big. Not enlarged, this one's not enlarged, but it's definitely not the same size and that's common. Sometimes if they look really weird or super small or anything uh, strange about it, we'll send it off. So we'll get with Dr. Terry about that. But Gomez cryptorchid surgery, neuter complete, looking good. All right, here is Gomez's little testicles. Here's the regular one that was in the scrotum. Here's the retained testicle. You can see it's a ton smaller because it was held at the wrong temperature, really close to his body, not the cooler temperature, which is in the descended testicle. So it just never really fully developed, but it looks normal otherwise, so we're not gonna send it off. Typically it has a much higher chance of being cancerous, but his looks good. with his teeth cleaning looks better we extracted premolars and molars and now we're gonna get the first super good look deep down in his ears see all of that exudate in there i don't want to pack it down anymore but i do want to get a sample of it never recommend using cotton swabs when you're cleaning your dog's ears I'm just trying to clean some out to be able to see down there but you can tell his little ear canal is so just stenotic and it's Kind of scarred down to a smaller space. Here's his other ear, about the same. Even though there's a lot of inflammation and kind of brown yellow exudate, it's a million times better than it was when we dispersed here. Yeah, 
probably go outside. She said, I don't want to eat right now. I don't, I don't feel good. Stuff happened today that I don't want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Baby. She reminds me of Eeyore sometimes. Gomez, day two. So much brighter today. He does not appreciate his ear meds, but what's new? Yeah. Eating good. You want to get your cone off? Before you do it tonight, do it yesterday. Gomez! Did you have it open now? Did you take that dog out? Oh. Tell April. Gomez! Gomez! Gomez. <laughs> She's not paying attention to you. Gomez! Y'all, <laughs> just look at how he tries to jump up on you. He's like six oh, feet away. I have videos I need to air drop. Up. Are you gonna do better today? I know, right? Hey, you don't want him to play with you? Nope. He's not interested. He's mad. everybody buy it for the week, but we also need to tell Gomez something. Gomi, somebody's gonna come meet you and they're gonna take you home, okay? His little tail is something. It's a nice lady. She adopted Happy. She adopted Happy Gary. Happy Gary. Are you ready? You don't look excited. Oh my gosh. She's gonna love him. Hey, we just want to say something uh, to our little guy. Gomi. You know, he doesn't like to be kissed. I want to. <laughs> Somebody's coming to Adolfa to you. They're going to meet you and they're going to take you home. He said, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go outside and see how your foot's doing. We want to see how you're walking. You take notes. Whoever adopts oh, him, oh. just hold him. Oh. Don't react. Go me. Oh, it's so oh, much oh. better. Come here, go me. Go me through your saddle. But he also doesn't really go where you want to where you want to go on walks. He wants to go where he wants to go. Yeah, you just keep the leash slack and follow him around. Okay. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Gomez. Gomez. Oh yeah, I forgot. He can't really hear well. <laughs> also, his ears, ear holes, ear canals are almost sealed up. <laughs> telling our little go-go Gometrius Adams goodbye. He has been with us for quite a while, but we found the perfect home. I don't know if you guys remember Happy, um, our little pup that was also named Gary, I think, and also Brownie, but it's the same adopter that has Happy saw Gomez on a video and decided that Gomez would be a good fit into her household, which he will. So anyway, we want to thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for watching our videos. Consider donating. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Enough. Okay. Let's go. <laughs>